Good morning, everybody, and welcome here to a little bit of an unfamiliar setting for you guys. Um, probably this is a classroom on the campus where I go to school at, so you're probably asking why am I in a classroom? Well, I just had a class canceled, and I have some downtime before my next class, so I figured I would come here and film this for you guys. Um, welcome to the Steeler Special Report. I'm Mason Sapesky, your host here today. And the reason I am coming to you for a special report is obviously I didn't plan this one because it just came up. But a couple of weeks ago when the Las Vegas Raiders made the decision to fire head coach Joss McDaniels, I did a special report um, about how my opinion on would he be a good candidate for an offensive coordinator position here in Pittsburgh. Should the team elect to fire current offensive coordinator Matt Canada? So that was definitely an interesting video. That's for sure. Um Yesterday, the Buffalo Bills made the decision to fire their offensive coordinator, um, Ken Dorsey, um, from Buffalo. They named quarterbacks coach Joe Brady the interim offensive coordinator. Buffalo has kind of spiraled this year. Um, they um, started out strong, um, three and one, um, beat quality teams like the Raiders or beat quality teams like the Dolphins at home, big by twenty eight points. Then they just spiraled. I mean, they barely beat the Giants. That was bad. They lost to the Patriots, who are very bad. Um, and then they barely beat teams like Tampa Bay. Lost to Cincy, and now they lost to Denver. I mean, granted, Denver is hot right now, and they're on a roll. But still, that was not a very good loss, considering the fact that Miami beat them 70-20. to I know this is a whole new Broncos team, and they're going to start to kick in in full gear here. And they're gradually and slowly and steadily getting better. But... Anyway, though, um, yeah, but this was a bad loss, and the team made the decision to fire Ken Dorsey. So anyway, though, let's have a talk here about Ken Dorsey, and if the team does elect to fire Matt Canada, or part ways with Matt Canada at the conclusion of this season, um, so the team hire Dorsey to be his replacement. Um, just a quick thing first on Matt Canada. Obviously, some of the, hit, the heat on him has gone away um due to the fact that he's moved now from the press box to the sidelines, and he's actually done an impressive job there. As my hair pods fall on the floor here, but he's done an impressive job there as offensive coordinator, and he's truly starting to kick it into full gear. So if the offense continues to look good, I mean, this will be a good test for him against the Cleveland Browns defense led by Jim Swartz, quality coordinator. And Swartz has showed us what a true coordinator change a good coordinator change can look at. Um, last year, the Browns finished the season 7-10. and 10. They fired defensive coordinator Joe Woods, um, who later went to New Orleans, and um, they hired Jim Swartz to be their defensive coordinator, and he has turned that Cleveland Browns defense around. So, yeah, he's done great things in Cleveland for sure, um, and that's the reason they're winning and they're looking so good because Jim Swartz is truly um, – sorry, somebody was just walking by – Everything's all good, but Jim Swartz has truly improved the Cleveland defense, and it shows you what a good coaching change can do because the Browns right now, they're sitting nice and pretty at um, sorry seven, six and three, um, and they're only getting better, and that's largely in part because of that Cleveland defense. So it shows you what a good defensive coordinator change could do as the lighting comes on here a little bit. Sorry, I can't because I'm leaning it on this. But anyway, so yeah, um that's for sure. So my opinion on Canada, I mean, this will be a good quality test for him against these defenses. If he fails this or doesn't do that good here and the offense doesn't look good, um, I mean, then probably it might be time to move on. But I'm not as big of a fan of firing Canada as, as Canada as I was a couple weeks ago, as are most Steeler fans, because now he's on the sideline and he's actually done a really nice job down on the sidelines for sure. So yeah, that's a really good thing for sure. But the more of these candidates and stuff get fired and stuff, we'll do like special report videos of this. But in the off season, should the team elect to fire Canada, I plan on doing a whole episode or a whole series discussing the candidates and what the pros and cons of them are. That's for sure. Um, these are just emergency ones, just because they're getting fired now. But yeah, we'll do that, and we'll just discuss those. And the Steelers, when they interview, we'll do episodes based on my take on the candidates and whether or not I think they should get hired. So 
keep an eye out on that, that's for sure. It'll be interesting, to say the least. But anyway, let's get into Dorsey. Um, He's done a really nice job here as I attempt to pull up his resume. He's only 42. That's a positive. And he's rapidly ascended across the lake. He was the quarterback's coach in Carolina um, during Cam Noon's MVP season. Um, then he went to Buffalo, got Josh Allen started on the right path. And then he moved up to passing game coordinator in 2021. And he um, became the offensive coordinator in Buffalo 2022-2023. So he has a very good resume, and he's done very good in the league. Um, and he was a pro scout, actually, with the Carolina Panthers in 2011-2012. So even if he doesn't get hired for an OC role or a coaching role here in Pittsburgh, he'd be very good possibly as an assistant scout in the scouting department for sure for the Steelers. So I think he'd be good there. But anyway, let's get into his coaching. Um, the pros of him would be he'd bring a very good offense here. I mean, the offense would look really good. It would truly rejuvenate, and I think – Dorsey could get the most out of Kenny Pickett and George Pickens, um, Najee Harris, Calvin Austin, Fire Move, Washington, and he could get this offense moving to where it could be and to truly take this offense to the next level, that's for sure. A major con, though, to Dorsey would be the fact that he's had Joss Allen, he's had Stephon Diggs, he's had Kincaid now, and he's had James Cook and all these offensive playmakers, and he still cannot get to the AFC, really, as an OC. He couldn't get to the AFC Championship game. He only had one AFC Championship appearance as the quarterback's coach, and they lost to Kansas City. So the fact, though, that he had this really good offense in Buffalo and had like one, a top-five quarterback and still couldn't get the job done, I think that weakens his chances here in Pittsburgh. But I think that he would, if he comes to Pittsburgh... Um, I think either as a scout or as a coach, I think it would be an amazing hire for the Steelers, that's for sure. Maybe he's not the guy to like get us to the Super Bowl or anything, which ultimately you are looking for the guy to get you to the Super Bowl. But one thing he could do as an assistant, because still, he might not be, like I said, he might not be the guy to get us to the Super Bowl as OC, but he'd be an amazing off it, or but he'd be a good coach. One thing he can do, and he could be tasked with doing really well, is getting Kenny Pickett on the right track. Lots of Steeler fans recently have complained about Pickett. Um, that's for sure. And I don't blame them because Kanda has looked impressive, and the team is still not like dominating teams like Tennessee and Green Bay. I mean, but that does somewhat, though, reflect the OC. You go back to 2020. Pittsburgh dominated Jacksonville, and Pittsburgh dominated Cincy back-to-back -back weeks. I understand those are bad teams. You might say they're bad teams, but so are Tennessee and Green Bay. We should have dominated them. We were used to dominating teams under Todd Haley and Randy Feekner, and our offense was powerful with them and Ben. Met Canada, not so much. Ben... Having Ben was the only reason we were like really super good in 2021 and made the playoffs. And we had to sneak our way in. We relied on a last-second field goal to get our way into the playoffs in the Raiders game and in our game, too, because we beat Baltimore in one. But that's going to be how it is. I think we need to find ways to be able to just take leads and put games away quick. We need to go back to the 2020 first 10 games, Steelers. And if Kenny Pickett or Matt Canada is not the guy to get you there, then it's time to find people who are. And I think Ken Dorsey could be one of those people. And I think he would be amaz an amazing fit for the Steelers in any of our coaching role or scouting role. That's all I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Have a good one. Take care. Stay safe. Pray for Israel. And as always, peace. See you guys around.